two days ago. And it was very, it was very important. And to be honest, the foundation, no matter how high you go, especially with spirituality, the foundation should always be re-explored. Let me tell you why. Because I have been doing mirror gazing for some years now. I've been doing, here you go. You can show it. I've been doing mirror gazing for some years now. And I never really got to the point, I was missing a link. I never got to the point where I actually looked in the mirror in the dark because that is the missing link. If you're gonna do mirror gazing, you're gonna do shadow work. This is what you do. You take three days, look at yourself in the mirror every day for 10 minutes, then 15 minutes, then 20 minutes, and don't say a word. You could look in one of your eyes, you could look in both of your eyes. I recommend sitting in a chair. If you have a big mirror in your bathroom where you could put a chair in your restroom, do it. Now, sit in the chair, look in both of your eyes, and at some point, you need to take that same mirror, look in your eyes, and turn the lights off. Turn the lights off and try to focus with your eyes still open. Focus on the energy that you get from that mirror. That's your spiritual shadow. And then come out of that room, close your eyes, still in the dark, and feel that shadow and feel it uh, speaking to you and giving you information. The difference between the spiritual shadow and the psychological shadow is the spiritual shadow, is, it comes from your soul which could give you information from your past lives. It could give you information, yes, from your, from your mind, which is different than your physical brain, obviously. And then we have the psychological shadow. A psychological shadow, to activate the psychological shadow and be able to speak to that, what you need to do is do this, do mirror gazing, but I want you to put a light on one side of your face and then put, um, make sure the light is on one side of your face and the other side is significantly darker. Now, just stare at that dark side of your face and, then tr and, and really try to meditate on where the light is eclipsing on your face. Stare at that dark side of your face and that is your psychological shadow. Now you could keep on meditating. You could keep on meditating on that and make sure that um, you could visualize your whole face is darkness. That would be your psychological shadow and let that speak to you. That's going to have things in your mind that you haven't thought about in a while. That's going to have things in your mind that you tried to press down. Things in your mind that you forgot about. But um, those two practices are very important. The thing about that is the information that's in there is going to be pretty much of chaos because the shadow all day... There's no destroying it. There's only integrating it and processing it and healing it. What needs to be done is you have to you have to understand that your shadow is constantly taking in source energy, universe energy, and processing it and building it stronger. Now you could make it smaller by integrating it and turning it back into source energy for your mind, body, and soul to use, right? But your shadow is constantly growing, just like you're constantly expiring you're clo you're constantly getting closer to death your your shadow is doing the reverse it's it's something like a reflection of your ego but it's not it's an aspect of your ego in a sense but at the end of the day think about your shadow like a magnet anything that you forget you can't have that in the video because it might strike me go over there with your mama but at the end of the day it's constant it's constantly taking in source energy, turning it into chaos or dark or negative energy. And it is the whole point of you having it is for you to channel it so it will power you and empower you. Okay, so you're gonna, no, don't throw this. God damn it, man. Fucking my shit up. Yeah, he did. It's to constantly, constantly channel it so that chaos is coming to you. Wait, 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 the, the chaos is coming to you, empowering your soul, your mind, body. And like a, kind of like a exchange. Like the more you, your shadow's constantly gonna eat with or without your permission. And the purpose of you connecting to your shadow is for you to be able to channel that chaos inside you, control it, 
Feel it, understand it, process it, turn it into source energy, add it to your soul, add it to your mind. Now, this could add vitality to you. This could add spirituality, magic powers, all kind of psychic abilities, give you dreams, make you be able to astral project. And that's the real, that's really the real gems right there. That's the whole purpose people ask, well, what's the purpose of shadow work? You're going to have all kind of things going on, bro. And I definitely do need to say this. You definitely need to be, I mean, look, these are hypocritical thoughts. But when you do this, you definitely need to be in some kind of, well, no, I don't want to say need to be. You should be in some kind of psychotherapy. And you definitely should be interacting if you feel like you're a lone wolf or a hermit. Interacting with strangers because that's another thing with the shadow. The shadow is definitely found in people that you don't know. Because they're going to show you things about yourself that you forgot, that you try to repress, suppress, or that you never really understood until you see somebody else say it. Like, for example, for my job, sometimes I had to go on the roof. And I told one of the uh, residents I had to go on the roof. And he said, the top of the top where you could see the hole? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, man, I don't think I should go on the roof because... I think I would just feel like jumping off it. And I was thinking, damn, that's the exact thing that I was thinking, but I never wanted to tell anybody because I thought I would sound crazy saying that. But he was pretty, probably a perfectly normal, healthy human being. And he had those same thoughts. That's a perfect example of why you should be interacting with certain types of people that you don't know because you never know how much you actually are not so strange and weird and out of there and how much your shadow will be revealed to you and how healing the process is. But um, that's it, man. We've been live for almost 30 minutes. It's Aaron Moses. Baby, you want to say something to the people about shadow work? Not right now. Thanks. You want to... Let me put you on the camera. Are you sure? Where? Let me see. Oh, you can see yourselves. Hi. It was like 20 <laughs> people in here. Oh, wow. I need any can I show them your booty? No. Back up. Go over there. It's big, guys. It it's large, <laughs> sirs. <laughs> there you go. Not, not on the internet. Not on the internet? No. All right. Go to her OnlyFans. I'm just playing. There, there is no OnlyFans. Aaron, what's the OnlyFans? Your mama's house. <laughs> That's it.